Satan is seeing something you are not seeing. First things first, as God's chosen do you know that the devil is afraid of you? Or are you the one in the bondage of fear of the devil? Before we proceed, please type in the comment section I am chosen by God. Don't be surprised to hear that Satan is afraid of you as God's chosen but he won't tell you this. First you have to break the walls of the fear mentality you have for Satan by understanding that Satan's power is in your ignorance and that is where he draws his strength and tactics to deceive you. He is seeing something you are not seeing in yourself. He has the advantage of age because he has lived longer, and wisdom because he has lived longer and also stayed in the presence of God. He is a spiritual being and doesn't have the limitations of the flesh that humans have so he uses all these to his advantage. Jesus made a statement in the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew chapter 6, If the light in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? This can be translated as if what you know about the devil and yourself as a chosen still makes you afraid of the devil. You're still in darkness. You need to have higher spiritual knowledge and see yourself the way God sees you. You should take note that the state of ignorance is a very dangerous state to be in. Because ignorance is the absence of knowledge, it is usually a negative state of the mind. An ignorant mind has no or limited instruction in one or more areas. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11 says, So that no advantage would be taken of us by Satan, for we are not ignorant of his schemes. Your being ignorant and not having a holistic understanding of who you are gives Satan an advantage over you to impose fear on you and also make you remain in that state of ignorance because he knows that when you have access to knowledge and understanding, it breaks you from the bondage of the fear you have for him. Ignorance keeps you in the dark, like a room without lights, like the night without the moonlight. It keeps you incapacitated and restrained. You need to capture the fact that when you're ignorant of the power of your identity, it allows Satan to deceive you into believing untrue stories about yourself. Know that deception is only possible when the deceiver is aware of the truth and when the deceived is not aware of the truth that the deceiver knows. In this case, the deceived is the victim. As we proceed, you will begin to see why the devil is afraid of you as God's chosen one. What you've not been seeing. You are a chosen generation and a royal priesthood. The greatest lie that you might have believed is that you are a sinner saved by grace. No, that is a big lie because it isn't the complete truth. The truth is that you were a sinner saved by grace and you are now a saint because you are a new creation in Christ Jesus. If you have the understanding that you are still a sinner saved by grace, it will peg you to that sinful nature and make you believe you're still a slave to the devil who is even below you and afraid of you now that you are a child of God. 1 Peter chapter 2 verses 9 to 10 make it clear that but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Being a sinner is in the past. Do not think you're still a sinner under God's grace. Instead, you are now God's saint, God's chosen, God's peculiar. This is the mentality you should carry from now on, and do not let the devil calibrate your mentality into fitting what will make you live a defeated life even though you are God's chosen. What makes the devil afraid of you being God's chosen? Your strength is drawn from your union with Christ. Now that you know who you are, it is time to walk in the realm God has called you and put the devil to shame, and where he belongs which is under your feet. Before we continue, we are inviting you to join our WhatsApp community through the link in the description box. Thank you. Indwelling of God. When you gave your life to Christ, you gave him everything. There was this special exchange where he took your sinful past and made you brand new. Then, something special happened to your spirit. The Spirit of God joined with your spirit as a seal of your redemption. The Holy Spirit came to live inside you. You and Him are now one. Isn't this information glorious? 
Satan trembles at the fact that God is dwelling inside of you. 1 John chapter 4 verse 12 makes it clear that God dwells in us. As God's chosen, your strength is drawn from your union with Christ, and that is what Satan is afraid of. You in Christ and Christ in you. Satan is only powerful when as God's chosen, you are not aware of the fact that you have the Spirit of God. Satan fears and quivers when you understand the fact that he that is in you is greater than him. The devil that is in the world with this knowledge comes power for you. Satan can only intimidate you when you don't comprehend these truths. When you have the Spirit of God in you and you call upon God, he will answer so Satan is afraid of you, because he knows God will come at your request and destroy him if he dares to come around your corridors. The Blood of Jesus Revelation chapter 12 verse 11 says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony the blood of Jesus is one of the weapons of the believers. The blood of Jesus is what atones for our sins, and this is what makes it very powerful. Previously in the Old Testament, the people had to bring a young animal yearly to atone for their sins. Every sin was to be cleansed by the shedding of blood, but when Jesus came, he died for us. He died through the enemy's false accusation, and so his blood always cries against the devil when he comes close to any of the believers. The blood of Jesus is so powerful that it lasts forever. It doesn't need to be renewed yearly like the blood of the animals. Now that we are redeemed by the blood, we have come into the covering of Christ. Satan does not even dare to stand before anyone that the blood covers or anyone that comes against him with the blood of Jesus. He is scared of you as a chosen one because of the blood of Jesus that covers you. That blood is the price paid for your redemption. Authority of Christ See, I give you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing at all will harm you. Luke chapter 10 verse 19 Satan is afraid of you because God himself through his son Jesus Christ has given you authority to destroy him. He is covered in fear when you come to realize the fact that you can destroy him and his powers and by no means would you get hurt. He knows that God will never lie and his promises over your life will never fail so that is why he is afraid of the chosen one who steps into this reality. You have been given the authority. The devil knows this and is scared of this. You can now destroy his works and cause havoc to his kingdom. Psalms chapter 91 verse 13 affirms that we will tread upon the lion and adder and trample on them. Your positional advantage. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6 says and hath raised us together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 21 also says far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but also in that which is to come. Satan is so afraid of you being God's chosen because you have been raised to sit in Christ in the heavenly places far above him. This gives you dominion over his realm and his power. Satan is aware you're above him, and he is under your dominion. That is why he is afraid of you as God's chosen one. Your security as God's chosen one is centered around Christ, your relationship with him, and the understanding of what he has given to you. This is what makes the devil afraid of you. Let's pray I pray that God Almighty will enlighten your understanding to see the power he has given to you as his chosen one. I pray that you become delivered from the bondage of fear that the enemy has put in you. I pray that you would take advantage of the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit, the blood of Jesus, the authority of Christ, and your positional advantage. May the Lord Jesus continually be with you in Jesus' name. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. If you're new here, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Returning viewers, remember to spread the love to your friends and family. Support our channel by donating via PayPal account also in the description box. God bless you.